This is tonight's 9 at 9. Two people wanted in connection with the murder of a New Hampshire couple near Corpus Christi have been captured. Adam Williams and Amanda Nover are suspects in the deaths of James and Michelle Butler. Their bodies were found in a shallow grave on Padre Island last week. Were they a soft target? That's anyone's guess. And of course, that's the million dollar question at this point, what the motive was. Nobody seems to know that. San Antonio police say it was a medical episode that caused a man to slam his pickup truck into the side of an apartment building. The truck took out two pillars on a porch and broke a hole through the outside wall. I was about to leave and then I heard a loud boom and I'm like, oh my goodness, what was that? Police say a passerby got the driver out of his truck. San Antonio fire crews called out to a home on New Laredo Highway where they found Halloween decorations burning outside of a third floor apartment. The flames set off the sprinkler system and fire alarm. Investigators aren't sure how those decorations caught fire. Arson now investigating this case. Authorities in Mexico were hunting for the gunman who ambushed an American family, killing three mothers and six children. Officials believe drug traffickers are responsible. They say more than 200 shots were fired and that the shooters possibly confused the family with a rival gang. I believe they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Five children escaped and are being treated in Arizona. A federal judge in New York has blocked the Trump administration's conscience rule, which would allow health care workers to refuse care for religious reasons. That includes abortions, sterilization, and assisted suicide. It also has the potential to impact transgender patients seeking care. The rule was initially slated to go into effect November 22nd. More than 37 million people have been infected worldwide with HIV or AIDS, and now a new strain of the virus has been identified. It's the first time in 20 years a subtype has been found. Health officials say the newly identified strain is more like an ancestral strain and is likely circulating in the Democratic Republic of Congo. A North Carolina teacher charged with having sex with a student was found dead inside her home. Police are calling it a murder-suicide after finding her husband dead too. It's a very unfortunate situation. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a very common thing that we see here in Huntersville. Um, so when it happens, it, it's, it's shocking. Um, but our, our detectives are doing everything they can. The 63-year-old high school teacher was arrested just a week ago for allegedly having a sexual relationship with a student. What was once a cute three-bedroom house on the edge of Lake Michigan in Wisconsin, now rubble. Demolition crews tore down what was left of the home after big chunks of the house began falling into the lake last year. The house was scheduled to be demolished a few times over the past year, but it was put off due to equipment problems and weather. Scientists say last month was the warmest October on record round the world. Last month narrowly edged out the previous record for October set back in 2015. And it's not just October. Every month so far this year has ranked as one of the warmest for that month. To read more about these nine stories, go to ksat.com slash news at nine.